today I'm doing a Beautylish haul. I went and bought a bunch of stuff because I was searching for this By Terry uh, lip balm in the special edition tin. And on that website I saw that they had Wayne Goss brushes, they had Jeffree Star lipsticks, they had Natasha Denona. So I went and did quite a big haul. It came in this box and inside it has this wrapping paper from Natasha Denona. Natasha Denona is a lovely... Um, professional makeup artist and I really wanted her palette. I think this is it, so let's open this first. Very well packaged. Look at this chunky bubble wrap. And then it's wrapped up. That's so cute. Gosh, it must take them long to do this for every single person that shops there. Dang. Ooh. She has amazing makeup. Uh, photos on her Instagram and now when I found out she did these palettes I was like oh I need one how nice it's like a leathery I think that's real leather I don't know that will probably affect how much other people like it <gasps> oh my god tears in my eyes look at those holy mackerel I can't wait to try that wow oh cool this um Clear inlay is oh far out. I just soiled the eyeshadow. Had it open for like 30 seconds. This plastic overlay thing is actually attached, so it will always be there, so you always know what the eyeshadows are called. These eyeshadows are made in Italy, not tested on animals, and are to be kept out of reach of children. There's another like four things in here. I feel like this is gonna be the Jeffree Star stuff. There's a couple of things in this bag. I bought the Charlotte Tilbury Supermodel Body. I love uh, shimmery creams, and I heard that hers is really good. I wear them all the time, like on my decolletage. Oh, cool. So you twist this around, and product should be able to roll out. Damn, that is cool. Let's try it here. Oh, nice. Can you see that as I turn? Wow. Wow, I'm really happy I bought this. I finally found the purpose for this big brush because it's a bit too big for my face. I love to put my shimmers in with this. Honestly, it's so good just for that purpose. Next in this bag of goodness, oh, I bought the Cover FX Custom Blot, Blot Drops. So this little product can customize the finish of your foundation. So if I were to mix some drops of this with a luminous foundation, it should make it... Um, more matte, I guess. That's what it looks like. And then you can just drop a couple of drops into your foundation. While it's on your hand, you mix it. I'll have to try that out, but I really love Cover FX. I bought this little magnet from Inglot that helps you take the eyeshadows out of the eyeshadow palettes. I'll show you. This is my Inglot Freedom System palette, just one of them. I don't know which side you're meant to put to it, but I think if you put the opposite... Oh, fuck. That scared me. Why am I scared of magnets? Anyone know how to do this? I don't want to put it on the damn eyeshadow. Is that what I'm meant to do? I'm going to ruin this. like dint in it but I don't know how else you meant to do that. I kind of thought that if you put the opposite like magnetic thing on the back it would like help you it would just like fall out because it's kind of pushing it away. No? Here are the two Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks that I bought. I bought Flamethrower which is a hot orange red. One of my favorite colors. Oh it's very orange. Damn it I really wanted a bright red. Still would wear out of 10. Oh my god, that's so cool. And I'm pretty sure I bought a nudie one. Yes. Flamethrower on the top and mannequin on the bottom. Oh, is this the... Yay, the Wayne Goss anniversary set. Let's open this up close. Oh! <laughs> I just stood on the bubble wrap. Scared the jillica out of me. Okay. Ooh, that opens. Polka dots. 
didn't expect that. Oh, they're so beautiful. So this is the anniversary set. I've never tried any of his brushes before, so I just picked that one because it seemed like good value and seemed like it had brushes that I would use a lot. This is the 07 brush. This is the 08, which is a little flat top, what looks like it could be an eyeliner brush. The 05 is a dome pencil brush. The 06 is a kind of flat, like it's a pinched blending brush, or I guess flat shadow brush. I don't know. I would use this to blend in my crease. This is a really nice neat blending brush. It will fit really nicely in the socket. They feel so soft but also have quite a nice bit of resistance. This is a nice big blending brush. It is the 03. This one I love for like powder under my eyes or highlighter or contouring. Last brush is the 01. Oh, this is a duo fiber, but you can't really tell because the second fiber bristles that come out from the top are bright white and then the base bristles are cream. I have to say, these feel so amazing, but I did not expect anything less. Wayne is so respected on YouTube and, I mean, of course, he's going to come out with amazing products. So, really excited to try that. Alright, next, there's two more things in the box. Now, what is this? I don't remember getting this. Oh! Huh. I bought more of these. Of course I did. Oh, this is the Beautylish Special Trio. I bought Watermelon Soda, Nude Beach, and Virginity. My virginity, I would not describe it as this colour. Um, okay, so let's start with Watermelon Soda, because how pretty is that? Wow! Oh, wow. That is sick. Look how opaque they are too. This one, watermelon. No, this one's nude beach. That is so nice. These smell like Skittles. Do they all smell the same? Whoa, they all have different smells. Really? I think that one smells like lollies. I swear they smell different. Last one, I know exactly what this is because this is the reason I went onto the website. A lot of the time, my favorite place to shop is Netta Porta. They have a lot of really nice luxe makeup and it gets here super fast and I don't know why. Um, I just shop there a lot. But heaps of the time they don't even ship the items that I want to Australia. Like Buy Terry doesn't even ship to Australia. The Christian Louboutin products don't ship to Australia. So I found a stockist that had the product that I want which is a ridiculously expensive lip balm. This is the Imperialis, Imperialis Balm de Rose Deluxe. Lip Care from By Terry. Now, this is so extra. I did not need this. Nobody needs this, unless you want to absolutely spoil yourself. Wow. Wow! So it is their very famous um, Baum de Rose in a special edition tin. It comes with all of these little fake flowers all the way around. Wow, it's actually a massive tin. Now I know why it's so expensive. But I'm totally going to keep it in this because this is so beautiful. Oh. I'm going to be buried with this. Oh, it's just so beautiful. I've got to be honest, I've never owned this before, but I have used it before, like through friends, and it's so good. Like, honestly, and I think for something that you use so often, like lip balm, I think it's okay to spend more money on it. Like, I love cheap lip balms too, but this is the kind of one that I will like, keep on my bed in this little thing and just relish in it every time I use it, you know? So, if you're curious, how much money did I spend on this? It did get held up in customs for like two days or one day and they just asked me to confirm what these brushes were made of. I spent $966 US on all that, which definitely is a lot of money. But I mean, this was over $200. I just really wanted it. I just really wanted it. The Wayne Goss anniversary set was $225 US, which I think is worth it since you get eight brushes. 
Anyway, people love to tell me what I can and can't spend my own money on, so go ahead in the comments. Every comment that you leave is helping me with the YouTube algorithm, so go ahead, unleash. Thanks guys, hope you enjoyed my haul, and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah.